So we are all together with the aim of trying to achieve the objectives of the rules, which is fast, and effective, and efficient uh, resolution of this So this is why I put together a, a, a list of items that we need to look through uh, in the trial as part of the roadmap to a quick and effective um, resolution of the dispute before me. Some are housekeeping issues, and we will start with those. And the first item I thought I need to bring to your attention is, uh, is to make a disclosure in which uh, require that we, as judicial officers, promote integrity, independence, um, propriety, and quality in proceedings. Uh, amongst other things, we talk about minority and we talk about minority. I was not going to say very, very much about you. That's my own. I just proceed for the purpose of it. But my own, I can have some point that we have a similar taste in food. <laughs> Seven days, you requested seven days after the submission. Um, and so we can make a further mention of the matter, maybe in about ten minutes' time. Can that be appropriate? Where does ten days take us? My Lord, I was just proposing that we people that we come back to court after we file and the respondent has filed their affidavit so that when we come to court we take the right to the disposal of the application. Just a proposal for the university of And again, what do you mention? We can do what you this video. Monday 24th. 
that I met you exactly a year ago at the Mashujara celebration. Oh. You recall? Yes, yes, I recall. So I hope this came back. I hope we just met you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's meet on the 24th of October, seven days on the Kaida side, fighting the sun. So maybe you can tell my papers the number. All that hard work and preparation. <laughs> can, can we keep them and learn from you? You can't keep Most of them. in this matter, uh, Honorable Purity Gurishi, uh, the first petitioner. And today we came to this court for the trial so that you can take directions of the hearing of the petition. Uh, but we have informed the court that we will be making an application to withdraw the petition uh, in accordance with the instructions given to us by our client, the Honorable Purity uh, Gurishi. Uh, so within the provisions of Rule 21 of the election rules, uh, once a, a petition is filed, it cannot be withdrawn without leave of the court. So you first seek to get leave of the court uh, before you are allowed to withdraw a petition. Uh, so the court has given us time to file an application, seven days, to file the application and serve upon the respondents then the respondents will respond to the application and we come back to court on the 24th of this month so that we can take directions on the hearing of the application. So ultimately, after the hearing of the application, the court will make a decision to make a ruling uh, whether to allow the application for withdrawal of the petition or not. If the court allows that, then we shall withdraw the petition. But if the court does not allow, then it means that we shall proceed to the petition uh, to the full hearing. So the court will be expecting you within the seven days to give a reason for the reading. Trial um, conference, which is when uh, the court agrees with the advocates as to how uh, the petition the petition will be processed in terms of the timelines that are needed for uh, prosecuting various applications. Um, but even before the proceedings began formally, uh, the petitioner's lawyers indicated that they have instructions to withdraw the petition. Um, now the law requires that uh, that sort of withdrawal is done through a formal application um, and it is also advertised in the newspapers. And so they have been given seven days to do that and then we'll be back here uh, on the 24th uh, of this month uh, for the prosecution uh, of that application. Um, for us, speaking on behalf of the third and fourth respondents, the governor and the deputy, I think we appreciate uh, the step taken. I think this, can, this county needs to move forward. Um, without the necessity of spending a lot of energy uh, in court. There's a lot of work to be done, and I think people should not be distracted uh, through court proceedings like happened in the last time. So we're grateful and uh, we're, we're, we're happy that that has happened, and we're looking forward to actually the prosecution of the application and for us to file that, that matter aside and move on to the more important issues. 21, which allows parties to withdraw uh, from a petition they have filed, but they are required to file formally. Uh, a formal application. So the election petition regulations, uh, rule, rule number 21. So they will now be proceeding to do that and then uh, the matter should be concluded without any problems. I, we, we, we are lawyers, so I can only say we only uh, work on the basis of what is disclosed in court. Uh, so as far as we are concerned, what we know is what was disclosed in court. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.